Welcome back to Pops. Hi, love. Let's play some more Europe. My name is Alice. Four. We're still playing us Australia. Going for Australia. Hungry. We have to unite Australia, which just requires us to have this time and place uh, of our subject here. And uh, of course, we have to subjugate Hungary. Which we've been dealing a lot with the Europeans, and we are right now, but we still don't know what a Hungary is. The vile Spaniards attacked us again. This time calling for reconquest. <laughs> which is just silly. I mean, they they settled our land here in Buru. They sent their folks in here, took Buru. Then they attacked me to take more of my land over in Tagalog. I said no. And it's, you know, a little bit of a repayment for the cost of the war. We, of course, took Buru, which is ours anyway, right? It's, it's a very, very nice thing to do. Then they come in and settle this place just to rile me up. And then they dare to declare reconquest for Buru. I mean, come on. Yeah, we're gonna make him pay. Question is, can we? Um, we have Augustus Buckingham here and my whole not insanely ginormously sized combat fleet, um, which I probably want to sit in Zumba for response ability. Responsibility? No. <laughs> Certainly not. Um, and this is interesting here. Honestly, I'm just gonna have Augustus come here, and we're just gonna try and throw these Portuguese folks out of my out of my land. We should also really not be running a speed five, so let's not do that. And um, we should, even though I mean we're in the middle of a war, but show must go on. People need to be converted to the one true faith. Speaking of the one true faith, why don't we bring these two folks here over to say the Arufara Sea? And take control of Aru because really that's what should be mine anyway. And crunch, oh, actually crunch all seven Portuguese boats. That is very nice. Rare and nice. I don't know that I have any shipyards around here because as much as I'm in love with shipyards, we haven't really had the the anything to build about the shipyards. So I guess we're just gonna have to repair without them. I usually tend to build a bunch of shipyards because I like having trade boats and you can have more trade boats if your force, naval force limit is higher, but we haven't even remotely reached our naval force limit yet this campaign. So it's probably, oh, you know what? I paused that music. <coughs> Let's turn that back on. I uh, took a break in between and uh, this recording in the last and I paused the music and uh, forgot to turn it back on. There we go, that's much better. Meow. meow, 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 meow. What are we doing? We're taking Aru. We're trying to keep the Spaniards out of Australia. It'd be great if you had more vision around here, but I don't know how we really get that. So, I mean, I need to stop them from being in, well, over here in my main trade node in, in the Moluccas. And I also need to definitely stop them from landing on Australia. Uh, you, you were supposed to land on that. They are almost certainly going to come from the, mostly going to come from the, um, from the West, but there might be like colonial um, Spaniards coming from the East. Like, what are you? You're not a colonial Spaniard, but you deserve to die. And, uh, well, it's got a bit of Gonna be a bit of a wet noodle fight, but the Portuguese should be losing. Oh, maybe not. They have a slight morale disadvantage here. What I do not want to do necessarily, I certainly don't want to do that necessarily, is to send my combat fleet there. Oh, but they're really... Oh, hello. Uh, let's try to run from these Portuguese. What are they? They're nothing. No, they're something. Let's try and meet him in the field of battle, but with a real fleet. Now, what about you? Real fleet is busy. I think I'm just gonna have to let Kutai take the hit there. I can put you back on making me money, because money is still highly relevant. This war is gonna be costly anyway. Certainly don't want to also lose money because I'm not trading. Okay, you ran past, like, 
nobody's business going to the Padawan Passage. Let's see if we can't have that as well. And you go back to privateering. Uh, where were you privateering? Malacca, right? Yeah. One cool thing about the privateering here, I mean, it's a bit risky for our boats, obviously. But it also gives us the opportunity to see a bit more, have a bit more vision here, which may turn out to be profitable. Okay, Malacca actually lost that battle, which is crazy, but it is true. You go into the Sea of Celebes and this other place, the Philippine Sea. So we maybe can't catch them in this Sea of Celebes here. Now these are sort of less relevant fights. Because the one naval battle that really matters is the one in which we take down um, any... Well, might be more than one. <laughs> the naval battles that matter are the ones in which we take down um, their transport ships with troops on them. That's going to be what's essential here. Okay, I'm going to move into the Strait of Makassar, which I am now... Oh, actually, no, we're going to go to Java Sea. Yeah, go to the Java Sea. Oh. Heartbeat. Uh, once we do land and uh, arrive in the Java Sea, we're going to try and land... Oh, actually, right now I'm going to go to Batulikan. Land there, take the repair tick. And then get back out. Fully repaired, excellent. We know there's still a fleet somewhere around here, but I think I'm gonna go back to my Sumban place. I think I'm gonna start moving these out to the Portuguese islands. Now this is how we got annoyed last time, so we gotta be careful. Right, I was busy using my but first I sent my transports alone to take some to take some island and then the enemy suddenly showed up with actual actual navy which was bad uh, I definitely got to start taking these admin techs here trying to you know get rid of that ugly 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 unbalanced research it's terrible really need to get out of that um so that's one thing that happened, right? We we got caught with people on boats, which is bad. So what I want to do to the enemy, not have done to myself, if uh, I do have the choice. The other thing, um, the other thing, my mind. I, I'm really bad at doing multiple things at once. Uh, Kag again, Kag, or trying to do something and talking about something else. Same time, it's kind of difficult. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Kagayam, we're going to enforce religious unity, we're going to convert these folks, and then we're going to focus back on what we were talking about. Right, so, sending transport boats alone. Bad, right? And, oh, there you are. Yeah, go crush their Brits. There's a lot of them. There's mostly transports. Can I have sent some help? I can actually. Let's go take the trade tick over the 31st of May there. And then we're gonna stop our trading and go in there and help. There are those guys again. They still don't have anybody on board, so I'm not utterly afraid. But I would like them dead. So, don't get caught with your transports. Point one. Point two, um, don't move your combat fleet sort of... He actually got away. Why does this game keep lying to me like that? Gosh. Um, make me money again. I don't know why this is so foobard, but it is. And yes, foobard, which is, you know, sort of... Uh, not an oxymoron. What's the, what's the opposite of an oxymoron? Will you say something you already said? Anyway. Um, points, points, making points. Right, get your common fleet out of position means uh, people land on your Australia, which you don't want. That's my point. <laughs> 
So what I don't want to do this time... It's more transports, there's nobody on them still. Which is good. Well, this is starting to... It's all transports, right? No, it's two heavies. Can I fight two heavies and four lights with my lights? It's a maybe? I have a good leader. Let's grab this boy. Try to chase him. They're probably gonna run anyway, but if not, maybe we can get a bit of a W there. Be nice. Wouldn't mind having a bit of a W. Took the battle. And they ran with their transports. Not much of a W, but a W nonetheless. Get the get the thing. What's this? A Cuban light. Okay, I'm not too afraid of a single Cuban light. Sounds like a cigar type. <laughs> oh, you know, I normally just smoke Cuban lights. It's uh, better for the better for the lung and all that. You know, smoking's bad for you. <laughs> Crazy what they tell you these days. Oh, oh, what are we seeing here? We are seeing the 34 Brits going to the East Indian Ocean. So we are trying another landing with very few troops, actually. And none people. Ooh, this is interesting. I think I want to try and catch them. Now, the thing that's going to be weird about this, aside from the fact that we might not be able to catch them, because they might be just faster. They're not faster, luckily. Is that our galleys are going to be garbage here. I'm just relying on the fact that uh, they didn't bring any real combat boats. What's that Portuguese boat? It's another light. Should be fine there. Whoa! I had said our galleys are garbage, but that garbage? Gee whiz. I mean, that's just a lot of morale at start. I have uh, over me. We lack the combat with actually, that they have. Mm. Oh, that's just max common width. This doesn't say extra common width, right? No. Should be fine on actual width here, I think. Feel like that battle should go fine, but this is the Brits we're talking about. Oh, we didn't bring our guy, did we? Ah, mistakes were made. Didn't realize you were here. That might be, might be a bit of an L there when I was looking for a W. Quite frankly, kind of looks like an L, doesn't it? Brits don't seem to be taking any damage. The Portland is already out. Did I miss anything? No, I brought two heavies and they just have lights and transports and they're just crushing me. Mostly on morale. I'm doing the ship damage. Yeah. But their morale is just... Fudging me. I've got the Shrewsbury out. Mm, not bringing the the Admiral there might have uh, might have been uh, a nail in my coffin. Is a strong word, but a bad thing. When do you land? Oh God, forever. Oh, the Minotaur is actually out. Out. This is the Ross Common. So these are disengaged, right? A lot of our ships have already disengaged. Ow. That's a victory. Ungraceful Natives is fine. I don't actually care that much. Can I just run? We have a bad roll. Our galleys are doing terrible. I'm just getting out Marad like crazy here. Even though they don't have anything really, but what are they looking? I wish I had. No, I mean we have average morale here. It's just average durability is still pretty high on their side, except for that one one cog we did damage to. Maybe we just can't fight on the high seas. Hmm. Yeah, I am gonna run. I hate it. 
Do we get any ships stolen? We did not. Whew. That's what I was most afraid of. Is that they could steal our ships there. You. I know you're suppressing rebels, but I think I'd rather have you on this side. Because we might have lands. Lands Britaining? Yes. Brits landing. You're afraid. Why are you afraid? Just rely on our beautiful navy. It's not like we're fighting Brits or something. Gosh. Should have just attacked them here. I don't know if I could have caught them Roebuck Bay. But I could have definitely made them run from Roebuck Bay. And... Oh, you're leaving again. Okay, that's good. Um, you might want to leave as well. Oh, you're getting attacked? By whom? Or is it the Brits? Are we getting away? 24th? 21st, we're not getting away. If I were to give you the guy... 23rd, one day? Really? Um, alternative. Malacca is not going to give me... Oh, I shouldn't. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Doesn't really matter. Malacca is not going to give me... Naval landing thing with Bob. When are you going to be? 30th of October. That's later than that. <laughs> Way later than that. You're just really fast. That's what you are. So I just kind of got to hope that we don't get crushed there. Oh, yuck. I want to catch them, not have them catch us. Also, yuck. Maybe request aid here. That's so much money. I hate losing admin and all, but that's so much money. But the notes are also going to be this lawyer. Mm -hmm. We're not doing that thing anytime soon. Maybe I grant that monopoly on incense. But I hate it. But I guess. A grand eight. It rains, but it pours. So why is... I mean, the, the morale difference is obviously crazy. From technology, yeah, British traditions are... Our oh, technology is also worse. But the traditions are painful. And base morale does um, determine, determine how much damage you're doing. Morale damage. So... It's not only... Not that... Sort of, we have the... They have the higher floor. Or the higher ceiling, I suppose. Um, but also that we just do less morale damage. And I keep forgetting what wooden wall does. But I think the Brits always have wooden wall, right? Kind of think it would say here somewhere. What they do. I don't think it does. Okay, we might lose a few transports here. We might lose all transports here if we're unlucky. Probably not. Should be able to run now. Peace. And run we will. Didn't lose a boat. Good. I mean, they have no firepower, right? They're just winning on morale basis. <laughs> and on the fact that we didn't do enough damage with our galleys out of coastal waters. But I don't like what's happening around here. The fact that they're bringing the Brits of all people to actually do something with the Navy. Okay, no troops on this. Let's transport fleet. You're going to the East Engine. You have a bunch of troops. Okay, so I think what we want to do here, they're going to arrive in the Eastern Indian Ocean on the 24th of October. They're probably going to go to Roebuck Bay. I'm going to give them... I don't know. A few days here. I'm going to, I'm going to take the repair tick. Oh, don't scare me like that. And I'm going to move you out and see if we can't catch some Brits in Roebuck Bay. We can't because they went for... We're a lot faster than we assumed. And they're now going to Kurama. What's a Kurama? Timothy, wait, you're landing? Oh, that's 18th Army. Okay, maybe I can. Probably can't catch you. 14th of November. 
We are gonna be there on the 18th. Yeah, they're just so fast. I'm gonna chase them off. Which is good, I guess, but I'm not gonna not gonna catch them. Now they might It's kind of funny that this is so what's this? Ooh. Okay. More transports without stuff on them. They do keep scaring me like that, don't they? They just love it. So obviously I want my... Oh, well, that's... Castilian fleet with 15 troops on it. And my privateering fleet that's being scared. Okay, we gotta go and at least threaten up here. We wouldn't mind a battle in between the islands. That's good terrain for us. Coastal terrain, I suppose. Uh, yeah, take your freaking Diplo Power, even though we take even more of the old inflation. You're going to Java Sea, so am I. I'm probably not going to catch you. This actually screams to me that you should upgrade your boats. I don't know if galleys can ever be fast enough to catch up with the real boats here, right? Can you can a galley catch a um a sailing vessel? Probably not. Could have stopped that movement a bit earlier, I think. Where, where where's this? Oh, it's just you. I like the whole new naval invasion warning, but during the January, 3rd of January, okay, so no chance. Not a chance. I think I'll go back to, to Sumba. Seemed like an okay place to um, sortie from. Speaking of sorting from places, let's try and kill these Portuguese. What are we looking to do here? We should have taken war score, right? Yeah, it's ticking up because they don't control Buru. We gotta defend them, that's our way to, to get war score. Obviously we want them to not land on our on Australia or any of our land, but mostly not on actual Australia. If they land somewhere I have decent troop presence, then maybe. Fifty percent ahead of time. Hmm. On the first of January. So if I take it on the next first of January, I don't think I get the bonus. That's unfortunate. If they're taking it on the second, I could have saved here. Don't know if I want to do that. I like getting some innovativeness. Especially now that we're ahead of time in something so we can keep the innovativeness. So that's nice. NTL. I don't like spending 933 mil power. 50% is just, that's extra 300 for those four points. And it's probably going to pay off in the, in the long run. Actually, it's going to help us catch up. Ah, uh, but it's also going to put us more unbalanced. No, no, let's not go more unbalanced. That seems bad. Speaking of bad, this is also bad, but... I don't think there's anything I can do right now to get that power protection out. Can I somehow catch you in Roebuck Bay? Seems extremely unlikely. Nah, I'm too late, right? Yeah, 5th of February in the Indian Ocean, and I will be on the 10th of February. You're just too fast for me. What is the speed of these things? It should tell me right somewhere. Speed four, speed seven. Yeah, it's the galleys that make me make me very hard, or make it very hard for me to catch anything. Which again makes a ton of sense. I also think it makes a ton of sense to have galleys here. Oh, I should have brought the guy. I meant to bring the guy. Don't tell me that's gonna be another one. It's not the Brits, so surely it's not gonna be another one of those battles, is it? You no no no. Just just go back to Sumba. Can't catch him there. 
Yeah. I mean, they ran. I didn't get any. I didn't get anything out of it. But I chased them off again. What's this? Oh, well, that's just lights into transports without troops. Okay, there's a bunch of Brits. Coming to Java Sea on the 22nd of February. Not locked in yet. They might not see me. If they don't see me, maybe we get a chance. 4th of March. 1st of March. Yeah! Gotta get a battle. I think. It should be on our terms. I mean, they still have that insane morale advantage, but at least we brought a guy and we have galleys that can really fight this time. Yeah, I think we're doing real damage. I don't. I just clicked into something. Don't know what it was. Hopefully, it wasn't relevant. Okay, the deal castle is castle is gone. Yeah. Okay. Crushed one transport. Yippee kaye! What are you? Three heavies. Going to the Savu Sea. Going to go back to Sumba. I really wish I had a thing around here. You don't have any people on your transport, so I'm not afraid. You don't have to insta intercept that. Instacept. This one might be a a bit of a tough one to take extra rewards out of. It's a long way to peace. It's a long way to peace. And uh, even then, I'd need the ability to actually actually take something. I would like the ability to actually take some, something. What's this? Transfers without people on them. It's incredibly important that you do actually get to see that. Because otherwise, I don't know how we would ever deal with invasions. Mm. Now, we still have that institution to think about. If we were to give a look to, let's say, this thing here. Looking for a province that wants a manufactory. And... Has two sizable neighbors. I'm not seeing any Omer, Omergurd, Urbergurd kind of provinces here. Could build a plantation in that place. Right, we've got a ton of development. Let's not do that. So really the only place we could talk about is these. Right? Because they have at least they are themselves decently sized and they have a decently sized neighbor so they only need one extra 15 point neighbor. Hmm. <laughs> Surprisingly low output from uh, manufactories, where they probably have terrible trade goods. Yeah, they're both grain places. Which used to be great for us, <laughs> with that weird modifier we got, uh, because of our brewing of... Um, <laughs> what was it? Beer, I think? Well, just generally breweries. Is it worth building a manufacturer in one of these places and developing, say, Butchelung? Which is an okay place to develop. So I could build a manufacturer in Gooby Gooby for okay value. Not insane, but okay value. And I could develop in Butchelung for an okay price. And then we can maybe spawn that institution.
Yeah, I guess. Let's double check the rules, though. Let's <laughs> not forget something else. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. There you are. Many factories. Connect to the capital of Australia. It would be the capital of Australia. So that should be fine. Not an island. Check. If Bachala is not an island, it's not an island. In a state, check. Development 20, check. Printing press, global trade, check, check. Two neighboring, we're going to work on that. We're going to build a... Oh. Wasn't it a farm estate we would be building? I think it was. Yeah, that doesn't count. Oh gosh darn it. I mean, I guess it makes some sort of sense, but that's just... No, no, it's not all manufacturers. Farm estates don't count. <laughs> Okay, that makes it a lot harder. I don't know that there's any other place that even remotely qualifies. Hmm. No, that's cows that wouldn't work. more grain. Australia really is not the place for quality trade goods. Okay, so our continent is bad. Okay, so the only way I see right now to develop the... Yeah. The only way I see that we develop that we spawn the institutions to move our capital over to where was it? Here. Spy silence or whatever. Yeah, that's not going to work. We're not going to do that. We're just going to have to develop the institution ourselves manually again, which does mean that we want to want to save up on as many points as possible while still getting this out. Yeah, I guess I just do it here and now that we have the edict going. It's probably not the absolute cheapest place, but it's cheapish. So that's probably okay. All right, but we have a war to win. And very warry music. But unfortunately, we also have a cut to put in here. <laughs> I do it at the end of the song. <laughs> Which might be right now. I don't know. I know these songs. I'm kind of tempted to build a shipyard in Sumba. Just so we get to repair a bit faster while still sitting in this place. It's probably wrong. It's a lot of money, it's a bad place for a shipyard. I'm a bit afraid that if I go. Do I want to jump these guys to the Great Barrier Reef? I think we'll give it a go. Might be a bad idea with these Portuguese heavies out here. Maybe you shouldn't. They're coming in, right? Yeah, let's not. Let's not do that. <laughs> let's not be silly. They don't do anything. They don't hurt us. So I think this is fine. Yeah, the disadvantage of sitting in Sumba is that we don't really get to catch anybody ever because they don't come past here. At least right now they're not. Just very afraid that if I sent my combat navy here to deal with this, we're gonna see an actual invasion force come out. That would be bad, wouldn't it? Okay, it's the end of the song, therefore the end of the episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you're seeing, as always, please do hit that like button, subscribe, and subscribe here, and if you have anything else to say, then you know where to go. The comment section is the place. Thank you for watching and see you folks next time.